My chest and ears thumped in time with the rhythm. I buckled my feet in, backed my ass up, put my face against the base of Keralti's neck, and drew a deep breath. Anticipation built into an eye of the storm sensation, the feeling of being so excited, so wound up that your mind was empty and calm. Hold on, and don't fall off. Keralti wiggled to test her traction, and before I had time to reply, kicked out from the battlement and threw herself into the open sky. Anyone who has ever felt really good torque knows that roller coaster thrill. Your teeth step back in your head, your skull pounds, your guts feel like they got left a mile behind you on the road. You can't do anything but cry out with shock. It's arousing, it's addictive and unsettling and terrifying. It's a high so intense that you will always be chasing it, no matter what happens. Holy shit! We fell about 20 feet before Keralti gained lift. I howled with wild laughter as my stomach lifted up behind my eyes, then fell out through my asshole. Her wings pumped to either side of my knees, and all the blood in my body rushed down into my legs as she began to climb. When she leveled out, I slid back into the shallow scalloped seat of my saddle, and for a moment I regretted telling Mix that I didn't want restraining straps. Then she dropped a wingtip and rolled gently to one side, and my lizard brain screamed at me that this was it. I was dead. I was going to fly off and burst like a ripe tomato when I hit the ground. Keralti sensed my sudden terror. She straightened up so quickly that she nearly pitched me off. Hector, are you okay? What's the matter? Time had slowed, and for several seconds I couldn't reply. My eyes were watering from the ferocious wind as I stared out over the city. It was beautiful. Taltos glowed orange and charcoal from up here, bathed by the light of the setting sun. Uh, I'm fine. Fly properly, like how you would without a rider. Just try not to do anything too crazy. Okay, lean with me. I felt you pushing back against the turn before. She rolled to the left again, circling in and beating her wings to climb back up. My heart skipped a beat as the torque shifted back, then forward again. The muscles of Keralti's back surged under my hands and against my knees, and every time she lifted and dropped, I felt like I was going to fly off into the wind. My entire body thrummed with tension, hands white-knuckled and shaking against the grips. This is fucking incredible! Oh my god, why did I let myself get this far away from the ground? We're not that high, silly Hector. Keralti's voice was thick with mirth, but warm as well. You having fun? Keralti bellowed joyously, and before I had time to adjust my position, she rolled sharply to the left and veered into a strong, cold stream of wind. Her wings filled with air, and suddenly we jolted upwards, higher and higher. My stomach pulled down, and I barked a cry of excitement that turned to manic, wild, howling laughter. When she topped down and beat her wings to join the swiftly moving cold stream, she picked up speed. Tears were pulled back along my cheeks, my heart raced, my fingers pounded in time with my pulse. I was terrified, moved, and exhilarated all at the same time. It was the best I had ever felt in my entire life. 